And here we go. All right, we are back. Part two. Might go into part three. Maybe not. We'll see. <clears throat> see how far we get anyway. Anyway, uh, as we continue the update, this is another movie I got from Columbia House uh, just today, actually, or, or Saturday afternoon. I don't work on Saturdays, which is really nice to have Saturdays off. You have no idea how much of a relief it is. Back when I was working at the, at, uh, the casino, it was so hard to get weekends off. And I said, you know, uh, it would be nice just to at least have a Saturday off, you know, if anything. And it's so, so great that even though I'm part-time, so I actually get three days off a week. But, you know, I still get Saturdays off. So it's nice. And even if I don't do anything really fancy, I mean, I at least can hang out with a friend. Like today, I, I hung out with an old friend of mine, uh, and we watched uh, the movie The Strangers. And the first time I ever seen it, I heard, uh, I think, I think Sean and MJ did a review on that, or, or talked about it, or they went to go see it, or whatever, in theaters. It was okay. I mean, not great, but it was okay. Now, recently, I as you saw the last update that I, I bought the copy of The Dark Knight. <clears throat> well... That was another movie that I thought, and I know a lot of people are gonna hate me for this. They're gonna be like, "Frankie, what the fuck?" You know, you know, we, we were up, to, we were with you up to this point. Well, I'm gonna say, The Dark Knight. Yes, it was a good movie, but it wasn't that great. I still believe, in my heart, that the original Batman with Michael Keaton, only with Michael Keaton, Batman, the first Batman, and Batman Returns are the only two very good. Batman's as far as who Batman should be you can call Michael Keaton a five-foot hair poofy haired son of a bitch for all I care But he's still a damn good actor. He can do anything, you know, whether he plays a comedian psycho a hero whatever he can do it, you know, and he's proven that over and over and over again Anyway, the Dark Knight was great. I watched it But it wasn't so you know, I'll probably watch it maybe one more time, you know and maybe not watch it for a long, long time to come. Because a lot of people, when they question The Dark Knight, is they, they, they get all that hype because of Heath Ledger passed away. Well, think about this. What if he never passed away? Would it still be a big movie? And nothing against the director or anybody that was in it. I enjoyed it. It was a good two and a half hours. I got my money's worth. Watched it on the big screen. I listened around some. It was great. But it wasn't good. But... Just because I have not seen the, you know, that I watched Dark Knight, this movie, I can't, I guess maybe it would change my opinion if I watched the whole thing of this. Maybe I'd understand it more. That's probably, that's probably why I bought it. Anyway, Batman Begins. Now, Sean uh, McClane, aka, aka Zara Nizerak, uh, showed us uh, on one of his DVD, that was his latest DVD update about uh, the Blu ray edition of this movie. Which kind of pretty much hypes the Dark Knight for more more than it does this movie. It makes you want to forget about this movie and go right into the Dark Knight. Uh, but he had the nice Blu-ray edition, which I was kind of jealous about. Even though I don't have a Blu-ray player, probably won't for a while. Maybe in 2009 if they get cheaper. Who knows? Anyway, Batman Begins. I, I I need to watch this. I watched it a little bit with with a buddy that believes the hype, just like most of the people. On the whole uh, Dark Knight thing uh, about being, you know, Christian Bale being a better Batman, but I don't think I mean he he might be a good Batman for this generation, for the new generate quote unquote new generation, but he ain't the best Batman, and some people might disagree that Michael Keaton isn't the best Batman either, but I think I you know Michael Keaton to me is a lot better than Christian Bale. Although it'll be great to see Christian Bale in that new Terminator movie coming out in May. You know. So, anyway. Batman Begins. Great movie that I have to see. Maybe, I'll, like I said, maybe I'll understand the whole scenario on, you know, which is better Batman or not. But like I said, who knows? You never know. I'll probably watch The Dark Knight again now that I got the first one. But my opinion will always be the same on how I feel about it. Batman. Now, I hope that's enough ranting raving about that. I damn near, damn near ranted for five minutes just on that one subject. 
Anyway, well, I want to try to make this three parts as much as I can. Uh, okay, the next two movies, anyway, that I... These I've had in my collection for a while. And uh, I just have never given a review on them. These are very classic. You know, maybe I use that term loosely. But they are. You know, they're really good Eddie Murphy movies. As well, he's done so much good stuff, too. Besides Mr. Robinson, neighborhood and all that stuff. But, uh... The Night Professor 1 and 2. And I really enjoy these movies. I, I've seen them many, many times. Uh, they're both different, you know. They're not, they don't repeat themselves. That's just the thing. Well, some people might think, oh, it's the same It's the same movie, or almost. Well, kind of. You can see the, the cover is kind of the same with this, with Eddie Murphy in here, Eddie Murphy in here. But it's still, it's still... A good movie. Maybe this is not what uh, Jerry Lewis ever thought of or if they ever did a remake of his stuff, but still, it's still good stuff. You know, Night Professor 1, Night Professor 2. It kind of, to me, well, see, what a lot of people don't realize with uh, Eddie Murphy is that he's been doing multi character roles for quite a long time. If you remember the movie Coming to America, he did a bunch of different uh, roles, and, and, you know, different uh, cameo roles or whatever, being multi-people and whatnot. So this is no different. Even like the one uh, with that uh, other one, other movie that he did, and I can't think of it up, to, up top, but it's almost just like this, uh, too. Uh, fuck, I can't. And I know exactly... Which one do you talk? Or, you know what? What I'm, I can picture what it looks like. Uh, that Norbit, Norbit, yes. It reminds me kind of like that. But uh, yeah, he he's pretty good at playing multi-character roles or whatnot. So no matter what. All right. Now we get to we only got a couple more DVDs left, and uh, let's see if we can move this to to a part three here. Let's see what we got for time here. We're gonna move this to a part three. And this will be the last, uh, last 10, 11 minutes of, of part three. So we'll be right back with the final part of my DVD rant uh, for today.